This is going to be a video on how to fork a GitHub repository and submit a pull request for an open source contribution. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our community blog um, repository to run this example. So we're just going to go to github.com slash firehose community and we'll see this community.thefirehoseproject.com. Click on that. We'll click fork up here. Select the organization that we want to run the fork in. And in this one, it's going to be in my personal account. It's easy as that. The fork has already been done. What we're going to do is set this up for our local environment. So we're just going to come over here and copy to clipboard. Open up our terminal. I'm already in the folder location. I want to install this. And what we're going to do is run a clone command. So we do a git clone and then the repository. This might take a little bit depending on your connection and speed. move into the directory of our, our project. And what we want to do first is just make sure that everything's running. So we'll run the Jekyll serve command. And of course not. Spelt it wrong. All right, so let's open up a browser. Just check to make sure. Looks good. So what we'll do is for right now, we're just going to stop the server. And when you want to make changes to any of this, make sure that you're running in a branch so that you're not, if you make a screw up or something like that, you can just destroy the branch and not kill your whole local environment. So do git checkout dash b test. So now if you do git branch, the git checkout dash b is just a quick way to check out the new branch that you're creating. So you're running the, the checkout command as well as dash B is creating the branch that you're telling it to. And there's a star here so we can see that we're in our test environment. So we're gonna go and open this project up into our text editor. And then we are going to make our changes. So we're going to just, uh, I think what I'll do is just add a quick post. And then we're going to just do the touch. So we created our test file. I'm just going to go into one of these other folders and I'm going to steal some front matter for the uh, markdown language. So I'll just copy and paste. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to change the author name to me. And uh, that I don't really care about too much. One mistake I already see is that I didn't give it the extension dot markdown. So we're just going to quickly rename this quick. Put that markdown here. And then we will go back to our file. And give it an H1 head. Say this is a test. Save the file. We're going to run our Jekyll serve command. Just want to make sure that the test is working. Refresh. We should see this guy right here. Boom, we just created our contribution. So then what we do is just run our standard git 
workflow. Instead of just doing a standard push, um, what we do is just do git push origin, and then what we want is our branch. So if everything worked good, we can come back over, and we can see that already it's reloaded and it says that I got a new branch. So you can click on this compare and pull request. What this is going to do is going to compare the original GitHub repository, which is our Firehose community, community blog page, with the origin, which is GH pages, is our master branch. And then it's going to compare it to my forked repo with my specific branch. And you can just write this as just a test. Create pull request, and then it, then what that does is submits it for a pull request, and one of the community members who are organizing it, usually me or Ken, we will go in, we'll review, do a code review, and then we will give you feedback, and then let you know whether or not things need to be changed or if it's good. If it's good, we'll just do a quick merge pull request, and that's it. There's, there's not too much more else to it. So hope this all worked out and cleared up some confusion for some people. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me or Ken or anybody in our Slack channel. Um, otherwise, have a great night.